I still feel. feel I feel high on life, high on possibilities. It's it's an immense feeling, you know? Hey y'all, so today is a very exciting day. I am hosting an event with Adara Moselle, who is a certified tantrika. And we have decided to collaborate on a all women's medicinal ceremony. And this is my first sponsored event. It's this is a completely different vibe, y'all. All the events are getting sponsored going forward. Like this is so fucking cool. So we're sponsored by a company called Love Your Trip, and it is a medicinal mushroom company, if you know what I'm saying. And they have sent us a whole bunch of goodies to give away in goodie bags to all of the people who attend. And oh, I'm going to give y'all a tour of everything they sent right now. So these are the goodie bags. That's them all ready to go. But in each of these goodie bags, there is, these are some tote, not some tote bags. These are some fanny packs I think they, they gave us. And they're too big to go into the goodie bag. So they're staying over there. But we got ourselves a lanyard. We've got um, a t-shirt. Actually, I'm probably just going to put pictures of this stuff on the screen. We got a t-shirt, some mushroom gummies. Like each, each bag has, they have so many flavors on their website. It's so dope. So each bag has um, one of these. They have capsules and they have a little sample thing of their mushroom chocolate. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's a really good event. It's a really, really good event. Like you really get a lot for the price of your ticket um, for this event. And I'm so excited. Like me and Adara are going, you know, overboard for this event. We've got ourselves some fresh flowers, some fresh fruits. I got a little cute platter. So um, I'm gonna make a very cute little charcuterie board. AB is making our mushroom tea at the moment. And it's got hibiscus, lemon, and um mint and it'll have some fresh ginger and what you how many grams you think is in there like what you said 10 grams, 10 grams. Yeah. and so adara has the other 10 grams and she's making a special tea of her own so we can come together and join forces while we are in ceremony this beautiful evening and um yeah so much more exciting stuff has been taking place um a lot has been happening since I got back from California and I just had to document this experience because I know it's going to be lit um Naima a lovely individual she reached out to me saying that she wanted to offer her videography services and photography services tonight for the event and I was like oh my god the abundance please 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 so that's what's going on yeah we have made it after a long hour drive to the venue yeah we're here we're here i'm so excited yeah, I'm so <laughs> this is where yeah. we are having it a black owned metaphysical wellness place exciting so we are about 30 minutes early and um we're about to head in and start setting up so cute in here. <gasps> oh, this is such a nice space. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. This is such a nice space. Yeah, this is so cute. So comfy. How should I display the place? Like, what should I how should I display? Actually, I'm wrong. It's her day. Pomegranate. Extremely sexual. Pomegranate is a very erotic fruit. God is a freak. Yeah. God is a freak. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. 
that that is one of the reasons why we have to like go oh, in and yeah yeah and the theme tonight is awakening your goddess yes. tapping into your sensuality feeling yourself a little bit more divine feminine yeah. yeah and what that looks like to you right so there's a thousand ways the feminine shows up but you know for not tonight it's friday so we're going to feel it in the way friday feels you know so it's a party day for a reason okay so it's a good day you want to feel good okay you want to feel good so first this is Trinity. Oh, oh, who am I? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> um, my name is Trinity. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I'm very eager. Um, this is my first ceremony to be putting on, and I'm so excited to be doing it with Adara. Believe it or not, we just met for the first time, like, in person yesterday. <laughs> but literally, when energy, like, matches up and it aligns, I was like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make something shake for sure um, mm-hmm. when I found her on Instagram. So um, thank y'all for being here. Um, I'm very eager to have this experience, add this to one of my things that I, I, I've done before and I can't wait to do again. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see what kind of transformations take place. I'm interested to hear you all's intentions mm-hmm. to really get a deeper understanding of why you're here, what made you feel called to join us on this eve, join Adara and I. Um, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just full of gratitude, so absolutely. Thank y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Amber told me this when the tickets came out. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and I wanted, I've always wanted to go to one of your events, mm-hmm. and it was Divine Feminine. And I was working on it. I have all the books. I met, I have mentors that help me with all this, and I was like, this would seem like a very good standing point to start again, to like do more stuff. So I thought it was like. I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna grab my tea with me. <laughs> That's cute. I love it. I love it. Um, I'll go. Okay. My name's Chloe. Nice Hello. to meet you guys. Um, so for me, um, I watched your videos on YouTube many times, and um, I've taken insurance before, um, but I've never had like a teacher, like some type of person that can guide me along the journey. And um, I was like, God, I want to take shrooms. So I, just, I just asked for it, and boom, this happened. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I don't really come from a family that's very tapped in or just going through their spiritual journey. So I'm definitely a black sheep, you know what I'm saying? But um, I, I know this journey's for me, and I know that um, I'm being guided, you know, and I need to heal my ancestors, to heal. Like I always had a connection to my like my great grandma. I live in Joe from Florida, mm-hmm. all the way here today. Wow. And um yeah, so the reason why I'm here, of course, I watched TV and I love her and um I'm actually a sex worker huh? <gasps> and I do pole dance. Oh, and yes. like I want that to be like my life. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. so um when I saw that she had this event going on, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. This is the day I live yeah. in. Like, <laughs> oh, I was so excited. And I'm just like, you know, I really want to deepen my connection with myself. Like, I already am a pretty sensual person in general, but like, I feel like I have trouble connecting to people, okay. especially women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is the path that I'm on. Mm-hmm. So, it's really exciting. Yay! <laughs> I've already said I leaned a lot into my masculine energy at a very early age and I'm a Gemini so for me duality is like my entire world I think in circles um, oftentimes I'll mention something or I'll hear a song early in the morning and then later that night something brings it full circle where I'm like oh that was the meaning or I'll hear it again somebody's screaming it outside just just there's so many different aspects of how interconnected this world is and so for me it was always as I realized that I started to be like okay well why is the right side of my body so tense oh fatherhood masculine is right side I was born with Bell's palsy 
So on the right side of my face, it comes through, and I feel like it has something to do with the fact that my father was verbally abusive, um, but also from past lives where I was also being very dominant when I was not necessarily, I didn't have to necessarily do that. Um, so now in this lifetime, since I have more safety, I found it within myself after experiencing a certain trauma in 2021 that I need to figure out how to just allow things to happen and yeah. for the good and the bad. Like yeah. I, I'm, I'm going through this era now where it's like, I really, I'm going to let you have it. Like <laughs> I have no more desire to like change people's minds about what they think that I said or what I said that I meant. Like I don't care about any of that no more. And so it was a very long journey for me to even get to that point because leaning into my feminine energy, I had to find out what that looked like for me. and. Finding out that that for me was breath work. I really loved breath work. Mm -hmm. um, I have a Cancer North node, so I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to deal with my emotions <laughs> in a way that's not always aggressive and loud. So that is different, tapping into that kind of vulnerability. <laughs> and for me, sexual pleasure was another very, very, very large aspect because I had been like shunned from that kind of stuff at a very early age. So we have some goodies for those of you, um, we have we have some goodies for everybody, but the bags are for those of you who bought journey tickets. Who's a size small in shirts? Small. And we'll hold off on opening these. We're gonna I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of what all is in them. Who's a medium? So in your bags, um, you guys can go ahead and open them. Um, there is a shirt from Love Your Trip as well as some other really nice things. So, <laughs> oh no, just, you could just, you could just, oh yeah, just shoot it to the side. <laughs> um, so along with the t-shirt, you guys have a packet of mushroom gummies. There's five grams in this whole bag, 20 gummies. Uh, you can do like a microdose. Okay. <laughs> Y'all look overwhelmed. Y'all look a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all look a little nervous. So yes, this was one of my favorite. Everybody has different flavors. If y'all want to swap flavors, feel free. Um, there is a mushroom chocolate. So this is a little uh, flavored chocolate bar. And you guys have a lanyard with some stickers. And you guys have some capsules, some microdose capsules. So they really sent a whole bunch of stuff. Also, there's a little packet of lube. Fun sent in the lube. They have all different kinds of flavors. So you can try flavors as well if y'all want to. But yeah. Thank you so much. Cosmic force it holds us up. sure some of y'all probably know about it because I've talked about it so much um, but that book brought me a lot of understanding about divine feminine energy and literally I feel like I feel like that would be the gift that I would give every woman oh your daughter's being born here you go uh, your it's your birthday here you go you're just graduated here you go this is the book that I, I give so I wrote a poem after um, Clarissa Pinkola Estes which is the author 
Clarissa tells me the story of La Loba, that to sing is to use the soul's voice. And she, made of weathered hands and tousled hair, reminds me of what it means to be feral. Not many of us were raised conscious that we are free women. The whispers of our intuition was drowned out by the demands of this patriarchal world. With every chain I break, someone is there to tell me that I am being too loud. Clarissa studies the behavior of wolves, tells me that to be feral, one must have started in her rightful wild mind only to be captured and domesticated. When she returns to her fierce nature, she's lost all instincts and intuition. Every woman has felt herself go missing, has searched for her inner child in the dark, tickled the underbelly of her vices, and considered rock bottom to be more comfy than the latter. While captivity is often found in the spaces we thought were safe, freedom will ask you to jump off the highest cliff and into the abyss. If and when woman claws her way out of domestication, she comes to the painful reality that she must relearn all she knew before. So ask yourself, do I trust the universe? Or will I continue to argue for my limitations? Will I push away what is hidden? Or will I force myself to live a life I loathe? Clarissa tells me to fuck being nice. That intuition lies within mis Oberios. That our human mind has questions that our limitless soul knows all the answers to. That if something is deemed unladylike, do it bigger, louder, and better than ever. La Loba sings over the bones of a girl who thinks she wants to die, and suddenly I can breathe underwater. La Loba runs her callous hands through the hair of a girl who looks just like her, and suddenly all I see is that everyone is a reflection of me. I am tired of digging into the soil to find life when it is all around me. The dirt under my nails signifies triumph. The blood I lay in is a testament to the old, to an old life lost and a new one that is ready to live. Um, so has anyone ever been to a poetry competition or like a, a, a poet? You know you guys can say things through the duration of, yes. y'all was quiet as hell. So if you want to snap, if you want to, mm, if you want to, uh, don't be nice, be nasty. Like you can just yell some random shit if you're feeling it. Like my pussy wet, I'll, I'll accept you know, all of that good shit because the quietness was a little eerie. <laughs> 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 Who's in here a Virgo? I have a Virgo moon. Okay, that's a, 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 a <laughs> Anatomy. Before, I would have tried to ignore the blood, never acknowledge that time of the month, hide the mess I make, push you away. Before, I would have asked for you to understand the blood, but now, it is a requirement. This bleed ain't up for debate. Any part of you that is uncomfortable with the mess I make is not ready for a grown woman. My yoni cannot fathom how there was ever a time you'd get to slip and slide in all her glory and not understand how she gets that way. Mm. All the glands and crevices that make her flow a river of sweetness, the tissues and nerves that orchestrate a symphony of moans, the neural pathways that dance across my brain to manifest an orgasm. I take pussy power to a whole new level. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Stare at my naked body in the mirror, open my legs and greet a goddess. Yeah. She says, man wants you to fear me, wants you to shun me into oblivion, discredit the power that lies between your legs and hold on to generational tension. You must release my love. Yeah. You must relax into your temple and exhale any darkness that wants to dim your light. From now on, the only thing you must hold on tight to is yourself. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I like that. I love that. I'm it. Oh my God. That's fucking terrible. I have to show you about the club. 
so after my event i hung out with as many of the girls as possible every day for like the rest of the time that they were in town this is day and amber both of them came from completely different places and we just all hung out as much as we could while they were here it was amazing it was great so enjoy these little brief clips of us hanging out all together <laughs> Bro, there was this club, and at the club, they were playing like all like hip hop and uh, trap and everything, and so they were given fades in the like like you, there's a barber giving fades in there, and they were they had <laughs> they were barbecuing. What? They were barbecuing hot dogs. Bro, <laughs> you know no. <laughs> you know, bro. You know, this is. I'm. I'm honestly shocked. I'm honestly oh so yes. very, very surprised because it really puts into fucking perspective for me just how we've really been set up to be bro. most hated, and but but yet we are literally the coolest to <laughs> every fucking body apparently. That's like what are you kidding me bro are you kidding me bro i can't date your daughter but i can heavily influence her culture <laughs> like what nigga? oh my god and then it just makes me think about our ancestors and how they they inherently their being was seen as superior so much superior that they had to be fought and domesticated and abused and literally beaten into submission it's like they like people were that scared people were powers. that scared bro yeah and it truly 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 makes me wonder in the deep subconscious how much different things would be if that didn't happen yeah because the world would be entirely different and i it's just yeah someone needs to make a show about that that's wild yeah or write, write like a book series or something right oh like, interesting like think. a fanny like a fantasy idea oh my god i remember you had asked if you spoke japanese and i had been meaning to ask you that but i didn't hear <laughs> the answer yeah i speak a little japanese okay. um and i can understand a little japanese but i i can't it's not enough to have like a full conversation okay. for a year you were because a lot of people yeah. want to know english yeah, yeah. And like a lot of, I didn't, it's hard to make Japanese friends because a lot of people in Japan are like very quiet and like to themselves and oh. I guess quote unquote shy. Interesting. But yeah, and it's like, oh my gosh, let me tell you about the society there, bro. Because the society is crazy. So it's like, you know how in America individualism is like the thing? It's like, yeah, be your own person, do your own thing. Like, it's all like do it's it's basically like do all you can for yourself in america okay. but in japan it's all about like respect your neighbor and like we need the community to thrive so it's like everyone tries so hard not to create a disturbance and everything but it's just like everything is just so community-based that there's no room to explore individualism except for like in the arts and stuff so it may it is like it's so interesting the effect on people but also it's interesting because it's like knowing what America feels like and you go somewhere like that, it's like wow, like it feels like people are on mute here. Hmm. And crazy. yeah, because it's like people, for example, people don't wear. Uh oh. Here. <laughs> Your inner child likely oh, yeah. has too much control. Burst okay. of temp temper. All of it. Is definitely forcing or sadness may have caught up to you. You should be in touch with your feelings, but they should not control you. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm sorry, because you this this card right here, yes, this because it's like, shadow, it's like the shadow, it's like puppetry, it's like in a way, yeah, yeah. not puppetry, but it's like you you forget oh, to wait, you forget what? to um page of cups. You forget you not the shadow of your parents type shit. Oh. If if that resonates, if you you know, oh. like you. You are your own person, uh -huh. and people oh. forget to disconnect but themselves from their family. Like, in, but you connect to your family. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you stay connected, uh, connect to your family, up. but you wow. disconnect to find your individuality.
<sighs> Today is a beautiful day and life has been so good. That's probably what, well, I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say that's probably why I haven't been on YouTube so much, but I mean, transparently, perhaps, because I've really just been here in the physical. Um, as many of y'all, as all of y'all should know, um, I recently uh, hosted my first mushroom ceremony. <sighs> and bruh, I swear my life has changed drastically ever since doing ayahuasca. It's like I already had a trippy life and I already had a, an abundant life, but literally after ayahuasca, it was like ayahuasca was an insane road opener for me. Um, insane road opener like literally i think the second day of ceremony is when i got a text that is when i essentially found out that all of my debt had been paid off <laughs> um and ever since then it's just been a crazy crazy story of just more abundance um so yeah i guess we're gonna have a little life update we're gonna talk a little bit because um I need a therapist, okay? And maybe maybe some of y'all will point me in the right direction. Let's actually start here. Let's start here. Because this is, this is where I start every morning, here. So often I start my journal prompts off um, and I simply just ask myself, how am I feeling? I'll literally put into my journal, feeling this rising, question mark. And um, I really just start off expressing how I feel and in life I've been waking up I've been for one I've been getting good fucking sleep <sighs> really good really deep really rejuvenating sleep and that has been a very um amazing thing for me because I used to have insomnia before ayahuasca ayahuasca took that thing right on up out of me yeah recently I've just been waking up feeling abundant I had a very spiritual solo day which a lot of my days are solo but I had a very intentional day with self recently and it was just so beautiful like I'm not even gonna go into hella detail but I will tell you I cooked myself dinner I drew myself a bath a spiritual bath of course um and I cried twice and I had a very great masturbation session I got a new toy from this company called Femme Fun, and it's a wand, and I've always wanted a wand, and this wand, it's fucking, oh, I don't, okay, I don't know what that was, but this wand is fucking amazing, let me tell you that, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it was a great, it was a great day, um, and then, oh, and then I, I hit two, hit two yoga classes, one in the a.m. it was a centra a sensual tantra class and then one at night it was a nude yoga class so i was just feeling i was bro i've i've gotten to the point in my stretching where if i'm standing with my legs open and i like kind of go down like that i can literally bend up and look at my vagina i hope you guys get the visual like legs head down going up like that like i can look at my vagina now like i'm actually able to like it's 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 deep and I realized that um, I really wanted some kind of physical activity that I would stay up to date with. Um, and because I don't pull as much anymore, I really miss being physical. And I was like, hot yoga, or just yoga in particular is something that I really enjoy. And I noticed that as a Gemini, oh my God, here's another life development. Bro, my thoughts, my thoughts used to be so chaotic and so loud all of the time. And now, now it's just they're just they're so much calmer bro i swear to god i don't have anxiety i don't have panic attacks anymore and i'm just over here living a very peaceful life now like with the changing of the seasons i feel like there's uh, times where i need to retreat and retreat for myself and you know kind of you know just cater towards me more rather than uh, I guess catering towards like a platform which is another reason why I wasn't on YouTube for like over a month 
but I just really wasn't thinking about it like it just was not something that was in my in my mind which was thank God because it's like I used to have all kinds of thoughts in my mind anyway my mind is quieter and I realized that yoga is one of the things that really just immediately immediately it's 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 a good form of meditation for me that's what it is it's a very good form of meditation for me and I'm very grateful to have found it and I'm very grateful to utilize it in my life now my intuition has been very prominent a very prominent aspect of my current experience and um, it's really been allowing me to really move forward in certain situations to the best of my ability and it's been keeping me safe um oh before i jump into that on the day that i had a very intense like spiritual experience with self i had found an affirmation card and it found me exactly when it needed to find me and it says all is well in my world and I just seen it and I started crying. It was such an intense, it was such an intense direct message for me to take in at that moment. And I just like knew like, I already wasn't worrying about things anymore. Damn, it's crazy how being debt free, oh wow. Cause I'm like, is this the origin of when I stopped worrying about shit? I mean, ayahuasca, but then debt free on top of ayahuasca? it's a great fucking life <laughs> um but yeah it said all is well in my world and i was like wow that is such a particular message for me and so now that's literally like i'm about to put it in all of my bios like all is well in my world with that being said my intuition has just been going crazy i'm having such a hard time like facing the sun should i put my shades on i should just stop struggling and put my shades on my intuition has skyrocketed okay um there have been a handful of situations where like i've just been standing up for myself a lot i've been feeling way more safer within my body safer within shit just safer within my body like literally and safe within the 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 way that i express disdain to people i didn't like this order take this back like I, and of course it ain't it ain't like that but it's like all right yeah this is not good like you can can you remove this off of my uh, my tab and take it back please like things of that sort um i had another situation where when i went to the new yoga class um there was a guy that kind of sparked up a very small conversation with me uh, as we were waiting to be let in and i've been to nude yoga once before months ago but he was like man i ain't never did no shit like this before that's what he said specifically to me and i just looked at him and i ain't say shit another thing is i had my yoga mat with me and i was like the third person to lay my mat down in the room y'all it's a big room so i go out and get a cup of wine because they had some free wine in that beach um go get some wine and when i come back there's a man on this side and a man on this side and the guy that was on this side he was with a girl i assume his partner so i wasn't tripping about him but something about this dude to my right and the thing is it was dark in there i wasn't sure exactly who he was but i my of course i, my, I was at the same time my intuition knew it was that nigga i'm also taking into account knowing okay yeah i know everywhere i go i look good but it's also now having to account for the fact that other people see that in me and they are attracted to it they like it they want to do shit with it whatever you know and so i just knew in my spirit that he had sat next to me for the wrong reasons and so from that i really kind of just sat and like pondered on it a little bit and eventually i moved across the room and sat with a girl and her her guy friend and in there, there and in this case there were actually a, a a guy and a guy and me in the middle and um i was able to it was just a different type of energy bro like literally my intuition this morning i was meditating and i was like doing breath work and meditating and i had my eye mask on and it was like i could i could feel all of the energy that was not me like i could feel the space i could feel the air um honestly i felt like i could push something over with just like my mind it was so it was so strong so um 
Yeah, it's been it's been a lot of developments recently. I feel like I feel like I'm just getting healthier and healthier. Like literally, that's it. Um, I've healed my relationship with marijuana. I actually love marijuana now. Um, it's just it's just great. She's just a tool. Um, and in the experience I had where I made myself dinner and drew a bath like that. I, I did a lot of that on uh, on weed. I, I don't like saying it like that. I did a lot of that high, and it made the experience even more sensitive for me. So it was just it was just a beautiful like a beautiful listening to self, a beautiful acknowledging of what it was that I needed in that moment. And I loved it as well because I had brought a whole bunch of like literary material. I had bought my journal. I had bought two books, some highlighters. I had planned on um, occupying my mind in the tub that day. And I got in the tub and did nothing, literally. I, I didn't touch any of this stuff. And I kind of just sat there with thoughts. And I realized that like my, my thoughts literally will come one at a time. It's like one space, another space and you know like it's just, it's not congested anymore in my brain bro this shit stopped recording so long ago y'all missed so much bro damn sadness badness <laughs> combination oh my god i'm about to just turn that bitch on selfie this shall do life's been good though for sure um and i feel like i just been being within it <laughs> and yeah what i was saying when it cut out right um i had some oh i healed my relationship with weed i said that and i had started to roll my own pre-rolls i tried um this out fairly recently for the first time and i did it with some la weed that darian gave us shouts out to darian um and i also mix it with like botanicals so it has a little bit of mint a little bit of rose and then apothecary gave me a like packet of herbs and when they gave sent me the pre-rolls they also sent me a packet of herbs and sometimes I would smoke those and I added that in there. I'm not even sure what all is in there, but I know Blue Lotus is Damiana Mullen. <laughs> I don't know, but I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> That's what I mix all into my grinder that I just bought. You know, I feel like I already, like, I feel like Ganja Girl, for sure. It's, it's, it's evolving. <laughs> so that's what I just hit and it's really good it's really it's very playful it feels very playful right now and i was saying that i need to talk about my event because now this video it was a life update i think i really this is a really whim situation but now it's just a a, a high conversation and as it should be i mean this is trinity's channel we're talking about here oh my god my gemini shit is crazy one minute i feel like i am the being another i'm like the spectator that is admiring the being anyway um my event was so cool everybody should know about it but i know some of y'all don't so anyway <laughs> i recently hosted a my first mushroom ceremony with adara moselle she is a um tantrika of 13 plus years and we collaborated on an event together but this all of my events have have incorporated shrooms whether if you was at the trippy bonfire the trippy screen on the green the trip and paint or should i have some other ones oh i had a yeah all those super fire i had hella events beforehand but this was my first real like intentional mushroom ceremony right and I've sat in ceremony before. Trey asked me to, this question uh, yesterday or the other day. He was like, what was your most prominent takeaway from the amazing event that it became? And I was like, it was just so interesting because I've sat in ceremony before 
and going into my own ceremony i felt like it may have had to be a certain type of way you know like i knew we had things we wanted to expose but i'm like we should be are we i felt like a part of me was like are we supposed to be sitting in like meditation the whole time should we just cut off some music and everybody lay back but i loved how it was so much more of an integration with meeting everybody talking to everybody i love to talk to a bitch you know what i mean like i love talking to people so it was just so much more of an intimate space where we got to talk about really deep things people were crying um it, and we okay let me tell you what happened so anyway um, our event went like this. So basically, we sold like 13 journey tickets. Um, so pretty much at the event. Damn. Starting to realize that it was just one of those things you had to be there for. <laughs> Like, how do I even explain this greatness? It was like 15 divine women, and I'm talking women of all ages, like just just such a diverse group of women. I think youngest was 21 and like to mid 50s. Uh, we had women, we had women in there. Just, I just loved it. Here is the video that Naima did for the event. I feel like this is the best embodiment, really, of what you're going to see if you weren't there. <laughs> Open my legs and greet a goddess. Yes. She says, man wants you to fear me, wants you to shun me into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Discredit the power that lies between your legs and hold on to generational tension. You must release my love. Yeah. I just landed in another atmosphere. I'm just floating in a stained steel sphere. I bet you have questions. intimate space the venue was actually a black owned metaphysical shop in lawrenceville i'm gonna put their information here so you can check that shit out because it was fire <laughs> anyways it was in a beautiful black owned space and all of these divine women just entering this space to sit in ceremony with me it was an honor i'm like whoa like whoa 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 it was an honor to be able to just like curate such a divine womanly space and just we just we had an altar we had um that altar was beautiful that fruit and veggie altar it was just it was one of my my favorite things of the night because when we made it i was like oh yeah this is this is real sexy. At some point we dispensed the medicine. I was able to stand there at the tiny table like they did at Rhythmia <laughs> and, and dispense, pour everyone's cup individually, like looking them in the eyes, like 
here you go and also the tea was brewed by me and adara so we had two pitchers she had her own with her intentions and, and herbs and things of that sort and i had my own and um with my intentions and herbs and love adara did some tantric body work on um a male model and he was fully nude and so and at this point everyone else was like clothed i mean i had my shawl and my thong on but i was like oh you guys are free to take those titties out you know like that was what we said originally like that was on the on the on the end of what we said in the introduction to the event <laughs> i didn't know that like after the male model went somebody was like damn i wish i could get one of those something like that you know who you are <laughs> And um, and she was like, yeah. Adara was like, yeah. I can I can do it on somebody who would like to come up, and 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 a handful of women would like to. And their hands came up. Anyways, the next thing I know, everyone is massaging everyone, just topless, just it's just so great. Yo, Adara bought out the biggest jar of coconut oil I have ever fucking seen. It was like. It was the ones from like Walmart. That shit was fucking huge, bro. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of coconut oil. One of the women started getting, the, well, the next thing I know, this is how my series of events uh, happened in my existence. I was giving a massage to one girl and I don't wanna say no names. I don't know if y'all want y'all names out. And another girl was getting massaged on the table. And I just remember like looking over at them because the mushrooms are mushing right now bro we are we i don't i'm not having crazy visuals but like i am in that element you know i just remember looking up and seeing like hella women standing around this massage table helping <laughs> massage one individual another divine came up to me and was like can i massage you and I was like, sure. And at this point, I have one. I'm I'm in a thong, and I've been in a thong. Like I'm proudly in a thong. I'm getting a massage, and then the next thing I know, because as I'm just drifting off into shroomland, getting massaged, <laughs> I just remember like eventually looking up and seeing just everyone, like a landscape of black bodies, oil you know, uh, nice lighting. It, it was, it was, it was, it was a dream. <laughs> oh my God. It was a fucking dream. The event started at seven. Man, Shotties was promptly there at seven. I, I mean, I hadn't even finished setting up. Promptly. I think they were there at 6.54. So as all of the massaging is still going on, I'm like, yo, I want to perform two more pieces. And I, I performed Tocophobia. That doesn't sound like a real fucking thing. That just, I feel like they should have came up with a better name for that. Tocophobia means the fear of pregnancy. Roll another blunt, roll another blunt. <laughs> One of the things that made me laugh as I was performing this poetry uh, is right after my first poem, Amber is like, wow, you're really naked up here with your titties out performing poetry. Like this is really being a YouTuber. <laughs> I didn't get to acknowledge that at the time, I don't think. <laughs> that, shit, that shit was fucking funny. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious bro i was like yeah i mean I, and ab says to me often she's like yo you were like the only creator well not the only creator but you know you you've you've curated space with real life people as a creator in a very unique fucking way <laughs> 
for show. That's what it is. And I'm like, bro, that's how it should be, bro. Like, ugh. Some people just don't deserve <laughs> fame. <laughs> like, fine, you could be rich, whatever, bro. But fame? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Drake's album was so fucking misogynistic. And okay, for all the dogs. But it's just like, bruh, you know the cat's gonna listen. <laughs> like, damn. Damn, bitch. <laughs> that bitch Drake. Jesus. Niggas love Drake. Okay. Back on Earth, trying to wreak some havoc. Dang, that was crazy. What just happened? Just happened. I've done it millions of times, but not the millions of times. I guess that's where when we die, but I'm back as an indigo, back in the density, back to the days of three, back to the days of me, back to the days where we see.